Hello and welcome to Dan Makes Things. My name's Dan and over the last couple of years I've been building this guy. It's this desktop companion robot built with a Raspberry Pi in the head and an Arduino in the body. Uh, the entire thing's 3D printed and I've got some rather exciting updates. So I wanted to take you through those today because I haven't posted a video for a while. So let's take a look. I'm going to remove his head. I'm going to take a look at what the changes are going to be. So, there's a few things going on here. This is a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus in the core of the head there, as you can see. Um, and Raspberry Pi have very kindly sent me their new Pi 5. Now the Pi 5 is significantly more powerful than the 3B Plus. And what I'm hoping it's going to enable me to do is make some changes to make all of this a little bit more uh, streamlined. The Coral USB accelerator plugs into the Raspberry Pi and actually accelerates the machine learning to allow the facial recognition and things like that uh, to take place a little quicker. Um, I'm hoping that what we can do is remove that because the Pi 5 should be able to keep up now without that in place. As well as that, I've got a power board on the side. Uh, I've got a couple of microphones there so you can have stereo microphones. I actually have a speaker module that's connected to the uh, audio jack on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, I have a motion sensor that uses microwaves to detect motion. Uh, we've got a camera and we've got some NeoPixels and a little driver board there so that you can communicate with them via I2C. As you can see, it's a little bit messy and that's because I've been adding things onto it since I created the original design. So let's take a look and see what we have so far. Everything that you can see on the table is something that's included in the current head design or a variation of that. And what I'm trying to do really is streamline all of that so that everything can be fit onto one PCB. We actually have a custom PCB in the head already and what that does is allows the various components to connect to the Raspberry Pi. Now at the moment the custom PCB is actually in the head and just connected directly on top of the Raspberry Pi. But as you can see with the new Pi 5, there's an active cooling element to it now. And so what I'm concerned with is that there won't be enough space to fit the PCB on top of that because of the headers. I don't want to make it so that the headers are extended because uh, I think that's going to add too much height to the board. Uh, so I'm going to look at alternatives. So one of the alternatives is to use a 90 degree adapter so that I can actually plug the board into the side of the Pi and have all of the components mounted on the outside. The advantage of this is it means that if I want to have the head so that all of this is exposed and the air is getting to the fan, um, I can do that and the, the board that I create will be on the side of the Pi and then we'll still have the camera and the LED pointed out the front. Now what we have currently is uh, NeoPixel LEDs. There is a limitation on the Raspberry Pi, at least there was on the Pi 3, where the NeoPixels uh, couldn't be enabled and also have audio enabled. Um, so as a result of that, when I enabled audio through the jack, I actually added in this board, which is an I2C NeoPixel driver. So I'm hoping that I maybe don't need that anymore, but if I do, it really needs to be integrated into the PCB rather than being a standalone board that's jammed in behind the NeoPixels. Other changes are we have uh, this audio output board that connects via a signal wire to the audio jack. But the challenge there is that the new Raspberry Pi doesn't actually have that same output. So what I'm going to do is swap it out for this little board, which allows us to connect I2S to a speaker of some sort, like this one. One of the other advantages of the Pi 5 is that it allows for dual cameras. So one of the things that we could look to do is connect two cameras to the robot and that will allow us to have stereo vision or different types of cameras for different usage. The microwave sensor is still going to be in place but what I'd like to do is try and integrate it into the board a little cleaner so that it's not hanging out the side. There's also a buzzer and the buzzer is used to play tones and various other things. I want to be able to connect that through the board as well. Uh, and then as far as power requirements go, you can see that we actually have a small DC to DC converter on the side. I do have some of these spare, 
but actually in terms of the rating because the new raspberry pi is a five amp device uh, i've upgraded and i have this one which is capable of delivering five amps and finally one of the changes that i'd like to make is to be able to add some sort of animation to the head i like the idea of having an antenna that moves uh, so what I might do is integrate a servo as well so that I can have some sort of animation going on directly from the Raspberry Pi. This final component is a logic level converter which converts the voltage between the Arduino and the Raspberry Pi so they can communicate. So the plan is to create a new board and the new board is going to have all of these components integrated apart from the cameras obviously uh, and then it should mean that we can streamline the entire design and make it so that we have everything along one PCB to the side of the Pi. As you may have already seen, I'm already working on the schematic for the custom PCB. I've also enlisted the help of a PCB manufacturer to see if we can streamline it even further, but I'll provide more details on that later. If you're interested in this project and you'd like to help out or build your own, feel free to join the community. Link in the description. Thanks for watching.